Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 Mighty and Career Mode here today for the Spanish Grand Prix in part 4 of the Career Mode. We start with qualifying where there is rain on the way, so it's going to be important to set a lap time. So into qualifying that we go, of course, some major changes to the Spanish Grand Prix track. Now so much better with that chicken gone as we get to that part of the track if we go through the brake marker boards we cut the corner a little bit we go into the final corner and up to the line we cross the line and that's going to put us into P4 it's a boundary up there as well but as we skip on to the end of the next lap because we carried on going the rain has arrived and we're going further in the first sector but by the time we got to the final sector the track was on the verge of switching to inters and was very very hard to get any sort of traction or anything there was no grip whatsoever but as we come back into the pitch look at the timing tower and look at the drivers that have been caught out Max Verstappen, Perez, they've all been caught out and now as we skip on further towards the end of the session and you can see how wet it is now it's definitely enters and those cars, drivers that have been caught out are going to have a very long Sunday ahead of them so that is qualifying done we're going to get our best qualifying as a team so let's go to the race Max Verstappen's first win for Red Bull on debut here. One of the great dramatic days in Formula One after the clash on the first lap of Hamilton and Rosberg. The entire crowd at Turn 7 on their feet, cheering. An extraordinary race. It's always a treat to come back here for the Spanish Grand Prix. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the long run down into Turn 1. This is a 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging here to put it mildly. There are 16 corners, but there's still a lot of drama and excitement to be found out there on track. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Ocon, Brown, Fittipaldi, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Albert, Joe, Perez, Sonoda, Magnussen, Verstappen, Stroll, Russell, Norris, Leclerc, Hulkenberg, Bottas, Sargent, Bottas. It's almost time for the lights to go out. So let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And joining me again for the race today, Natalie Pink. Why don't we kick off by discussing Max Verstappen, joined once again by Anthony Davidson in the commentary box. And they've suffered a grip penalty due to taking a new engine. It could mean a tough racing step. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. So we're here on the grid and we can do a soft to medium strategy, which we're not turning down anything apart from the hard tyre, that was always a strategy last year, very dull, medium to hard, but we can do soft to medium, so let's go that way, it's nice to see that Code Masters have done some more audio lines for the fact that Alex Chase still saying this track has 8, 16 corners, and only has 14 now, but we line up on the grid then, as the 5 red lights come on, it's going to be Hamilton V sites going into turn one and it's lights out and away we go and we've got an unbelievable start as we go through both of the Alpines we're ripping to P3 as sights and Hamilton go wheel to wheel into the first corner the side by side sights looking for our first home Grand Prix win and the crowd erupts as he takes the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix in the background the Alpines are fighting a bit and further back the two Red Bulls are making some sort of progress 
at the start. This is very much a race of how far can we get up the road before the Red Bulls, the, Ferra the Ferrari and the Mercedes of George Russell get the way through. This is Max Verstappen now absolutely blasting past the Aston Martin of Lance Stroll. And his further up the road, his teammate is doing the same. Past the Aston Martin, he goes there, Max Verstappen. And now, this is Perez around the outside of the Williams of Albon. Three turn five, they're side by side, and it's job done. And we're on lap two, and he's already up into P8. And now, this is Perez again, trying to go around the outside of the Alpha Tauri now. This is per um, Max trying to go around the outside of the Alpha Tauri. And it's job done. And we're already on lap two. Only lap two. Here comes Perez now. Past the McLaren. They are carving their way through. Like they're not even there. At the inside of Oscar Piastri. And into P7. And our race was quite dull to be honest at this point. We were just about staying in touch with Hamilton and Sainz and we had the pace to pull away from the two Alpines as this is Verstappen on Albon on the Williams all the way round the outside and now this is the two Alpines fighting as Verstappen overtakes our teammate as Perez overtakes our teammate rather and the two Alpines are fighting and on lap 4 look how far they've got the way through with Alonso now there and past Perez goes goes Perez on Alonso the side by side the two have been still fighting that's allowing us to get further away Perez around the outside that turns to the inside of Fernando Alonso now this is Max also getting his way through the field and now further up the front this is Hamilton and Sainz still battling and now this is Perez past the Alpine of Pierre Gasly Gasly is going to try and fight it into turn one he's going to try and keep it pinned round the outside at turn one Perez I keeps it pinned Max gets past Fittipaldi and now look it was behind us it's Sergio Perez as Max gets past the Alpine and he's taken him just seven laps to get back into contention, especially for Perez. He's into P4 after seven laps in this race. Max now on the back of Gasly into turn four. He's got a great exit off the turn three up the inside of Gasly. And his job done and this is a joke of a car, this Red Bull. They're not even trying. They have got this game on 0% AI. As this is Hamilton and Science Rumble to Hamilton looking for his first win of the season and Mercedes first win after they were denied on the final lap last time out in Monaco. Hamilton takes the lead. Science is not having any of it though. One lap later, Carlos Sainz retakes the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix. He's saying, no, you will stay behind me. As now, this is Alonso on Ocon trying to get through. Perez is now on the back of us. We didn't get very far up the road. As Alonso is through. And now, Verstappen's going to do what he did to Ocon's teammate Gasly up the inside of turn four. Ocon tries to hold around the outside. And he does keep it pinned. And Ocon stays ahead for now. But it wasn't going to take him long. As Max is past Ocon now. And now this is Perez on the back of us. Eight laps it took Perez to get through the field. As past goes Perez. And the podium was very nice while it lasted. I knew something special was going to have to happen if we did finish on the podium today. But... It was inevitable. They were always going to catch me. And they have. And Perez is on the podium now. And we had a very worn gearbox. And we ended up losing 
people gear at one stage, you can see how worn the gearbox is. We had a big, big failure. It didn't really impact our pace, but it's not really good missing a gear in the Formula 1 car. As you can see here, as we go up towards turn 4, we skip the fourth gear. But as I said, it didn't really hamper our progress. We still had good pace to keep the RPs behind. But Verstappen and Alonso going wheel to wheel now the Max past Alonso as both of them now hunt after us and into turn one Max is past Alonso and now this is this is Fittipaldi no he's slowing down Fittipaldi our teammate once again we have a reliability issue it's the second reliability issue in four races that's frustrating big engine failure as well we need to upgrade the reliability he retired in Baku and he's retired here and he's taking a couple of laps but Hamilton goes for the lead again up the inside round the outside he now has the inside line for turn three and he retakes the lead for Grand Prix now here comes Max Verstappen, he overtakes us now. And now this is Alonso who's got to run as well. Up the inside goes Alonso, I did lift off to let him through because our battle today is with the Alpines. And we are so far up the road from the Alpines, we're about three seconds up the road. I Science sends it again on Hamilton, up the inside, he now has the inside again for turn three. And re takes the lead, or does he? Hamilton keeps it pinned to the outside and carves him off at turn 4. Now this is George slowly making his way through and Gasly just behind us pits. He was a little bit further back, Ocon was ahead of him. But what tyres are Alpine going for then? Into the pits are going for the hards. So they're doing the softer hard strategy. On to lap 14 now, and it's going to be time for our one and only stop of the day. Into the pits we come. And we had about a three second gap behind us, but up front then. How quickly the Red Bulls took, took him to get through the field. About, what, eight, nine laps? And they're already back to where they should be. As we go on to two of the lead ones then. To get us to the end of the Grand Prix, we come out just ahead of the one, and our three second gap has been wiped out because I did very much screw up the pit entry. But me are gone, me and Ocon are gone. Ocon also gone on. Ocon being split strategy, then Ocon's on the mediums, Gazi on the hards, one of them will work out for Alpine, I'm sure. As Hamilton then flying out of the pits goes sights and Hamilton retakes the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix and Perez is caught a big, big chunk of time as three goes to Leclerc. Leclerc only just getting his way through the field, nowhere near as quickly as the Red Bull. That just shows you the difference in car. From the Ferrari to the Red Bull as he goes all the way round the outside of Gasly who's really struggling on those hard tyres. Now this is Perez for second place. He pulls to the inside and he's passed Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz tries to fight it though round the outside he keeps it pinned. He now has the outside line for turn three. But Perez takes second place for the Spanish Grand Prix and a battle that was very much turning into Hamilton v Sainz is turned into a Red Bull party as there's a crash there Lando who just sort of spun George got clipped as Lando decided to reverse back when there's many many cars there the two horses one of the horses has driven off the drag for some reason 
to avoid the Alphatari that brought out some yellow flags, no safety car, Lando gets it going again, but very, very poor there by Lando Norris, they were, he was on for a quite a decent result so up to that point, but here we go, lap 22, and Leclerc has finally got his way through, a lot, lot longer than the Red Bulls, as I mentioned earlier, and up the inside of us, he goes, and we get demoted into P7 then well, you can see the gap we've built again to walk on is just about there in the background it's now on to lap 25 this is Max Verstappen who gets himself onto the podium at his past Carlos Sainz Sainz hasn't had the pace on those mediums and now this is Verstappen lap 29 overtaking his teammate Hamilton is not that far of the road is it possible that Max could win this Grand Prix from 14th on the grid? And on lap 32 then, here comes Verstappen, he pulls to the outside. Hamilton does everything to keep it on the inside. He now holds it again to the outside, he has the inside line for turn 3 and he retakes the lead. And now this is Verstappen again going on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. What a race this has been in Barcelona. Down the pit straight, Verstappen goes to the inside of Lewis Hamilton. Heading down into turn one, Verstappen takes the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix on the final lap of the Grand Prix unless Hamilton can re overtake him it's going to be two races in a row that Mercedes have been denied, denied a victory on the final lap and Hamilton couldn't overtake Verstappen and from 14th on the grid Max Verstappen wins the Spanish Grand Prix from Hamilton from Perez and we are going to come home for back to back point scores and a P7 Brilliant stuff from Red Bull today. What a superb thing. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Back in 2022, the new regulations came in with a promise. A promise of more wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. That's exactly what we got today. And that has been the trend ever since their inception. Long may it continue. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. So I think Natalie Pinkman has perfectly summed up that race then. Max Verstappen played that race on 0% AI and honestly what is the point of anyone trying to win a race after that? He literally cut for everyone and you can't say it's unrealistic because he's done it so many times in real life. Look at Belgium in 2022. For us back to back P7s and back to back point scores is good enough for me. We've also opened the car as well with the gearbox. My race, I know I didn't really show you that much of it but my race was quite dull. We were just driving around on our own. We didn't have the pace to the Ferraris, the Red Bulls and the Mercedes up front but we were just too quick for the Alpines behind and pulled away we kept the gap around three four seconds i think we got it up to about six seconds at one point but that was our race fitter we need to 
Look at the durability. We can't be having two retirements. That is not on. We've closed the gap to Lando Norris. We're now P9 in the driver's standings. We're just two points behind Lando Norris on 12 points as we go into the Canadian Grand Prix next. There's still quite a few drivers still yet to score, including our teammate Fittipaldi. Hopefully that will change very soon. Red Bull lead the constructors, and I think this race proves why they are leading the constructors. Put them anywhere on the grid and they'll still find a way to win especially in the hands of Max Verstappen if you have enjoyed this video we head to Canada next and hopefully we can get another point score and hopefully someone will be able to beat Max Verstappen goodbye